Show with Pink and Main. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to be making some cards with our Gnome Matter What stamp set and coordinating dies. Let's jump right in with the first card. I have already pre-cut, stamped, and colored everything that we need. So all we have to do is assemble. I have a top folding a2 size card, four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. I cut out this really pretty pink plaid layering piece with our layered rectangle dies. And this paper is from our Enchanted Garden six by six paper pad. Before we lay this down, I want to add an accent of ribbon to this card. So we're going to put the ribbon it's really pretty yellow. It kind of makes the yellow, there's a tiny bit of yellow in this plaid, kind of makes it pop. So I want to have it go vertical. And the way I want to do that, I'm going to tie a knot in the front. So I want to leave the front of the ribbon loose on the card. I don't want to tack it down entirely. I just want to glue the ends of it around the back. So I'm just going to add some glue to the ends of the ribbon on the back side, and we will wrap that around. Now see, we have our ribbon just glued on the back here. I've stamped this adorable little gnome, and she's smelling the flower, and it's got a little butterfly above her there. Super sweet image. I'm going to glue down the circle to the scallop circle. I cut this out with our stitch circle dies and our scallop circle dies. So I'm just gonna adhere these. So I want to attach this scallop circle piece to our layering piece that goes on our card, but I want it to kind of go off the edge of the card. So I'm gonna cut off a little bit of this scallop and circle here, it just adds interest and it's pleasing to the eye to have things that kind of flow off the side of your card. And now I'm just gonna trim off the excess. Now we're ready to glue this layer down onto our card front. I've stamped and cut out the sentiment, hello, sweet friend, and I'm just gonna adhere that down to the bottom of the card here. With my extra piece of ribbon, I'm gonna tie a little knot underneath my scalloped circle. I like to add a little bit of adhesive where my knot is gonna be that will hold it in place. So I've just tied one simple knot. I pull it tight and then I just press down on the center there. It helps to flatten it out, but also puts it into that adhesive there so it will stay put. I'm just going to trim these extra edges off of the ribbon. There we have an adorable card. I think I wanna add a little bit of sparkle. So I have some of our glitter enamel dots and I'll just add a few of those around. And there's our finished card. I think it's super sweet. I like the extra texture that the ribbon adds to the card along with the little glitter enamel dots. For our next card, we're going to make a slimline card. If you haven't made any slimline cards yet, you should give it a try. It gives you a little different space to work with. So I have a folded white slimline card base and my card measures eight and a half by three and a half when folded. With our layering slimline dies, I have cut a rectangular panel to put on top of our card.
So I have colored this adorable little scene from the No Matter What stamp set. It's got this little coffee or teacup with a little mushroom house and some flowers, butterflies, and an adorable little squirrel or chipmunk sitting right there. And we're gonna add that to our card, but we need a place to anchor it to. So I've cut out a stitch circle in the green cardstock and some of our brand new glitter paper in this gorgeous yellow. So I'm gonna glue those together. Just like with our first card, I want this to go off of off of the card, just to kind of hang out off the side there. So I'm gonna glue it down and then I'm gonna trim the excess off of the side. Now I'm going to adhere our little scene to our circle. And here's our card so far. That's so cute. I've hand cut a couple of little banner pieces out of the glitter paper and that green card stock. And I'm gonna layer those down here on the bottom because I cut out the sentiment Happy Spring and I thought it needed something to sit on just to give it a little more color down here towards the bottom of the card. So I'm gonna glue these down. And here's our adorable spring card. I thought it would be cute to add a little bit more embellishment down here in the corner, just to kind of balance the card and to bring some of these flowers down here to the bottom. So along with the little happy spring sentiment, which you do get the coordinating die to cut that out in the coordinating die set. And I cut out this little snail and the little flower, and I just thought it was really cute to bring some of those elements down there along with the sentiment. On our next card, we have an A2 side, side folding card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. I've cut a layering panel to fit on it that'll give a little bit of a white edge around it, but I've taken this craft card stock, I hope it shows up on the camera, and I've run it through my die cut machine with our wide stripe embossing folder. It creates a really nice texture of wide stripes without being too overpowering as a background. Now you could also flip it over and it creates raised thinner stripes on the opposite side. So you could use the thinner stripes or the wider stripes, whichever you prefer for your project. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down to our card base. This card is going to be super simple, quick, and easy to create, but it's gonna be such an adorable card. With our layering piece that has the embossing stripes on it, I cut out some little corner pieces just to add a little pop of color. These corner pieces can be found in our beautiful slimline die set. It has a small and a large corner piece. So I'm gonna use the small one here. I've just cut out two and they just give a little bit of pop of color, like I said, to the corners there. Next, I have colored this adorable scene with these two little gnomes and flowers and mushrooms and their little chipmunk friend, he's so cute. And we're just gonna glue that down, kind of offset to the side here on our card front. And it takes up a large portion of the card, so there's not much else needed to put on the card.
I've also stamped and cut out there is no one like you sentiment and we're going to add that as well. I didn't want the sentiment floating off by itself somewhere so I just kind of anchored it to our image there where we have a big blank area where it, it sits nicely. So isn't that sweet? And that's super simple to put together, but you've got the texture of the embossed background and just a really sweet image and sentiment. Next, we're gonna make a fun folding card. So we've got all our pieces ready again. So you're gonna need two card bases for this card. One is a top folding four and a quarter by five and a half A2 size card. And I've cut it out of this really pretty teal card stock. My second card base is going to be four by five and a quarter. It's a quarter inch smaller than the other one. You're going to take the front flap here and fold it in half back so that it has almost like a little accordion movement there. So we're going to glue this piece, this card base, onto the larger one, but they're going to open in opposite directions. You see how the teal one opens down here and this white one is open up at the top here. I've cut out some pattern papers and these are from our Hooray six by six paper pad some really pretty colors, nice for spring. And I'm just gonna glue these down. I've got one for the inside here. I just cut it a quarter inch smaller than the card. And I've got another piece that coordinates that we're gonna put on this little front flap here. I want to add a ribbon accent across this piece right here where it's just before it folds. So I'm gonna take my piece of ribbon and just like the other card that we made earlier, I'm just gonna put adhesive on the back ends and wrap it around. And there, that ribbon makes a nice little border between the dotted paper and the pattern at the back here. I've cut out with our layered oval dies, two different sizes. I've got this lavender cardstock and some more of that beautiful yellow glitter paper that's brand new to us. And I'm just gonna glue these two together. And I wanna center this on the front of my card lengthwise, I think I'm gonna offset it to the side a little bit and just have it go right to the edge there because I want a little bit of room down here for my sentiment. And I also wanna tie a knot on this ribbon and just have a little knot there. So we'll glue this down here. So you only wanna put adhesive on half of it that's gonna go on this bottom half because you want it to be able to pop away from the back of this card. So our card is coming together nicely and you can see how it kind of opens up accordion style. So you still have the inside of your main card base where you can stamp your sentiment or write your little message or note to the recipient. But you also have this top part that comes apart and the recipient can easily stand it up on their table, counter, their mantle, wherever they want to display it. And it's an easy card to display that gives a really pretty dimensional look. So on top of our oval, we're going to add our image. And this is another super sweet image that's in the stamp set. This little gnome is sleeping in his little teacup. He's got some mushrooms and flowers, a little bunny friend. So we're going to glue this down here. So next I've stamped and cut out, I love you no matter what. I think I'm gonna glue this right down here at the bottom of our card. Next, with our extra ribbon, we're going to tie a knot over on this side. 
So I'll put it underneath the ribbon there and add some adhesive where I want that knot to stay. And here's our little three-dimensional card. It's like a freestanding card. That's really sweet. But I think I'm gonna add some of our enamel glitter dots. We do have some that match the Hooray paper pad perfectly. It's called the Hooray Glitter Enamel Dots. There you have another adorable card. Isn't that sweet? For our last card, I thought I'd use this little girl smelling the flower one more time. She is just so sweet. She's my favorite stamp in the stamp set. So I had to use it just one more time. And this time I die cut it out. So you can see how the coordinating die cuts out really nicely and close to the image. And it's open here in the center so that you can put it on any kind of background. I've also used the Hello Sweet Friends sentiment again. We have an A2 size top folding card. That's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I have two layering panels. And these are cut from our Mod Stitched Rectangle Dies. I love this unique look because it has two rounded corners and two regular square corners. So it's really fun. It adds just a fun look. So I'm gonna glue the pink one down to our card base. and I'm gonna set this aside. Here I have our square, mask it square stencil. I want to do some ink blending and give her a little bit of a background to sit upon on our white panel. So I'm gonna place the square where I want it on the panel. I've got a blue ink pad and our mini ergonomic blender brush, which makes ink blending super simple and easy. I'm just going to clean off the blue ink from my brush so I can use it again with another color. And you just kind of rub it on our scrub it clean cloth until you don't see that color anymore. And when you're ready to clean mo most of the ink off of it, you can use our cleaner, our brush cleaner. And you just, a couple of spritz, our brush scrubber, you scrub that ink off and you're gonna have a nice clean brush. Super simple and easy. I love the effect there. I just wanted a little lighter in the center, a little darker around the edges, just to give the look of kind of like a blue sky behind her. So now we're ready to add this panel to our card base. And now I'm gonna glue down our little sweet image. Oh, I love that so much. That's just so sweet. And it's very simple to do. Blending that square on there just gives her the perfect spot to highlight her and anchor her to the card. I'm just going to glue down our sentiment that I've stamped and cut out with the coordinating die. And I think I'm going to leave this card just as is. I love it. It's purely simple and sweet. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed these cards we've made with our super cute no matter what stamp set and coordinating dies. Until next time, my friends, keep living the creative life.